Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Waterworld Super Flat Survival and in today's video as you can see I have now recently built practically a few seconds ago completed building my storage facility and even though I could have had all the chests stationed all around um, the open sky so basically I d wouldn't necessarily have to have um, a, a house for it, but I decided that I need at least one structure into which I can go inside, um, on the island, and I also added pressure plates, which at the same time will save me a lot of time, but will be problematic, because what's gonna happen is, if, um, and I hope this never happens, if, for example, a creeper explodes and all the mobs get scattered around the island, and believe me, that has happened to me before in Skyblock, which is even worse, because there's... There's no water, and instead of having water, you just have complete em emptiness. Um, so my point is, if a creeper explodes and mobs are able to get all out all over the island, then what's going to happen is they're still going to be able to uh, stand on the pressure plates and actually go inside the building. So this building isn't a very good um, way to protect yourself against mobs. In which case, I will probably most likely build a shelter for myself as well. But I like to have enclosures for my storage facility. So, as you can see, there's um, two sets of double chests for the most common drops. With some small chests for some rare drops and for some other things uh, to be stored into. So, I think it's pretty compact. I like how it looks. The aesthetics are nice. And, yeah. But more importantly, also, yes, one last thing before I go ahead and talk about the grinder, is that, as you can see, I have breeded quite a bit of, um... Okay, let's see, can we get them to breed more? So you can see, I have gotten to, um, have quite a bit more chicken, which is quite nice. As you can see, I have now one, two, three, four, five, six, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven chickens, so, um, in a future episode, or maybe off-camera, well, Definitely off camera. I'm going to go ahead and build um, another area somewhere over here into which I will breed the chickens there. So I'm gonna have a pen, a type of an enclosure. But to do that, I'm gonna have to mine more cobblestone. So, of course, that's gonna be done all off camera. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just gonna have a standard um, type of uh, cobblestone wall type of enclosure instead of having this uh, inefficiency right here. So, let me just go ahead and. Uh, Anyway, so let's just, let me just go ahead and talk about the grinder. So, as you can see, I have covered up the grinder and make sure that they won't be able to reach me. And this is the result. Tons and tons of mobs. And wow, there's even some chickens over there. Which is, like I said, having a great mob grinder, having a very efficient mob grinder can be a positive. But at the same time, it can actually be very, very bad. Because as you can see, sometimes just there's way too many mobs piling up. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kill them off right here. As you can see, I'm actually able to surprisingly kill a lot of uh, mobs that way. There's a slight tiny area in the middle of the block where I'm able to uh, hit their hitboxes. And I'm able to even kill them quite quickly. As you can see, I've crafted some more swords because um, they're going to go very, very quickly once I start killing off these mobs. So now, when I'm going to be able to have just enough um, witches there just to be able to go ahead and open up the enclosure, then I'm just going to open up the enclosure and then kill the rest of them. I also crafted a bow to be able to kill them from far away. But more importantly, what I should do is I should probably start uh, placing all these um, all the items around. So let's see. Um, let's just place bones right... Okay, let's place bones right over here. So let's place uh, this is gonna be bones, and just so it'll be easier, the arrows are gonna be right over here, which I'm actually gonna need some arrows. Then the string's gonna be right over here. The rotten flesh is gonna be right over here, and the gunpowder is gonna be right over here. So there we go. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and. Uh, oh yeah, I can't open that chest because it's uh, blocked. So then I'm just gonna go ahead and let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and, um, take all of the items from these chests over here, let's see, 
Yup, this is my rotten flesh chest, and thankfully I don't have to spread them out anymore because all this whole chest is gonna be filled with rotten flesh, so I can just shift pretty, pretty much anywhere I want to. So let's just go ahead and uh, get all of our gunpowder from right over here, and I'll notice I'm just leaving one, um, I'm just leaving one of each stack just in case I need any. So let's see, I think we, oh yeah, we just dropped one gunpowder, so. In this uh, series, unlike the Skyblock series, we're actually gonna gunpowder is actually gonna be quite useful, and the reason is because we have sand in this survival world, and since we have sand, we're gonna be able to actually craft TNT. TNT will not be extremely useful, but it might be useful to start. Oh, that's not. That's the wrong chest. TNT might be useful to blow stuff up, such as make tunnelways underground. Uh, quickly. However, as we know, mining sand in this world is difficult because it's the most top layer, so uh, it really depends on what we're using. Um, it really depends on what we need, but uh, I think that it's going to be quite useful to have access to TNT in this world. It might be useful, I'm not really sure. It might not be useful, but at least it's going to be more useful than it was in the Skyblock series, just because in the Skyblock series it's pretty much only useful for rockets and stuff and fireworks, which aren't really useful at all because, well, they don't, they're pretty much just for aesthetics. So let's see, okay, so let's just pop that down here. So anyway, it seems like I have a lot more witches, so let me just kill them off right now as well. Now, I better go in there and get all their drops before they despawn. Although, the, the, the time that it takes for items to despawn is actually quite short, because... Um, I mean, wait, not short, but I think that it's not really that short, because five minutes... You can do a lot in Minecraft in five minutes. I mean, five minutes could actually be the length of an episode or a short video. Five minutes is not even considered to be a short video, so in that sense, I don't think that five minutes is um, a very short time, but at the same time, it's not very uh, it's not very much of a long time either, so just have to stay put and make sure that... Oh, I can actually collect some of the drops from here as well. So anyway, let me just open some of this stuff up, so as you can see, here's the... And of course... They're gonna keep on, they're gonna, of course, inevitably, they're gonna start throwing potions at me, which might actually kill me very quickly. However, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, just, oh, wow. I better get out of there. Anyway, so as you can see, we have gotten a bit more mob drops, so while that's going, we could just uh, put them around right here. And actually, right here, I'm just gonna place some glass bottles and, and spider. I just for the time being. I'm gonna have better organization hopefully in the future. Anyway. Now of course I'm gonna put up signs up, but right now I really don't have time to put signs up, so... Wait, what? Oh yeah, this is... This is uh oh. Wow, I just got really, really scared there. I, I just thought a creeper was going to explode. I don't know if anyone else heard that, but I definitely heard the, the sound of the creeper about to explode. Yeah, this is not really working out that well, so what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to just have to kill them off from right here, and hopefully they're going to be spawning slower than they're actually going to be, um, than we're actually going to be able to kill them, and wow, you can even see some chickens over there. Oh yeah, that, that might be an issue, as you can see we got some, uh, we have some chicken, we have some zombies spawning over there, which we're going to have to kill. Oh yeah, I think this is from the chicken jockey, yep. Wow, he actually was able to get inside our little house there, so... That just proves how, uh... How bad it is to hide from mobs inside that house, how subject it is to attack from mobs. So anyway, so let's just hope that we're gonna be able to kill off the... Um, witches before they're gonna be able to kill us. And hopefully we're gonna be able to collect all their drops, because I can see some glowstone over there. But to do that, first we're gonna have to... Okay, there we go. We killed that. And after that, we're just gonna have, gonna have to go ahead and kill him from that angle over here. And then after that, we're just gonna be able to. Uh, as you can see, there's only there's only f uh, three of them. So let me just. Unless more of them start spawning, I don't think it's gonna be that much of an issue. So let's go ahead and kill the last of them. Oh wow. There's another chicken spawning. Okay, let's let's go ahead and I really need to add another entrance somewhere over here, so that's not really the best place to put it. So 
Let me just place some of that over here. Okay, okay, okay. A little redstone right here. Um, oh, yeah. Rotten flesh right over here. Gunpowder right here. Um, okay, right here. So we're gonna put some feathers and the chicken. Of course, we're gonna, like I said before, we're gonna sort all this out later. So here we're gonna place some... Some string. So... Okay, let me just stay, put the carrot, have it stay put right over here. Okay, we have enough. Okay, let me just, uh, heal my sword right quick over here. Okay, let me just regenerate real quick. So, let's go back out and, uh, collect some more of the mob drops, if there is any. And as you can see, there's some more mob drops over here. So, hopefully, oh, there we go, we got another chicken over there. So let's now take, let now let's go ahead and empty a lot of these other uh, drops right here. So let's see, let's just take all we can. Okay. Now like I said before, hopefully I'm going to start adding a bit more, um, we're going to start adding more entrances so that it'd be easier to get inside here. So of course I'm going to add also, I'm going to add signs. So. I'm gonna add signs so that I'm gonna know where everything actually is. Let me just grab that real quick. Put the bones right over here, like they're supposed to be put. Now, hopefully, the, uh, too many they haven't spawned. Okay, let's just, let's, just, let's, just, let's just transport the spider eye real quick, just because I want that out of the way. Okay, okay. Oh, we lost the chicken. Darn it. Yep, that wasn't really that good. We have lost the chicken, and that's just gonna go down there and uh, despawn and go into the endless ocean that is super flat uh, survival in the water world preset. So, anyway, let's. Uh... Okay, nice. Let's go ahead and take all of this stuff. Okay, there we go. We can't carry anymore. Now, I'm also going to probably need to free up my inventory because my inventory is a complete mess. And, of course, I'm going to do that all that later. I can't do that right now because I'm very, very busy transporting all these materials right now. Now, let me just grab some more arrows. Uh, let's, let's see. Let me just spread all of that out right here. Anyways, so our inventory is once again full. So let me go ahead and put all of the bones into this chest right over here. Let me collect all the arrows in this chest right over here. Then let me go for another batch. So as you can see, we have some more. Um, okay, let's just spread out over here like this. Collect all the gunpowder. Uh, let me collect some string. And we're almost completely finished carrying all the stuff. So let me just put the string out right here. I have already memorized where pretty much everything is, but I'm still going to put signs up just in case. Here's my gunpowder. Here's gonna be my arrows. Make sure to leave some just to make sure because we always need to have some arrows with us. Okay, so let me just um, grab the rest of the string right over here. Just spread all of that out. Okay, wait, where, what was here? Oh, that was, there was gunpowder here, so yeah. I'm gonna have to take some of that, and we really just place the rest of the string over here. So by the time that we have been clearing it out, a bunch of more mobs have spawned. Uh, so, like I said, it's very great, but at the same time, not very great, because that way we have a lot of mobs and a lot of, um, mob drops, but at the same time, we can sometimes have too much mobs, as we can clearly see right over here. So just hopefully uh, kill all of them off, and wow, there's just way so much potions going off right now. Hopefully I'm not gonna die, and hopefully I'm gonna be able to kill all of them on this, on this sword that I have. Okay, there we go. Oh wow, we were able to collect all of that at once, so just go ahead and place all of that down. And wow, it's taking a very, very long time to sort all this out. This makes me think that sometimes we might even have to, uh... We might spend more time organizing and collecting mob drops and actually playing Minecraft and building our island. But I guess that's what it, ha that's what it has entailed to 
play Minecraft survival with this type of mob grinder and this type of uh, preset. And anyway, wow. 22 redstone. I have just realized how much that really is. If you think about it, in all of my other Let's Plays, especially if you have seen my Minecraft Super Flat Survival, my vanilla Super Flat Survival Let's Play, it takes me so, so long to craft 20, I mean, not to craft, but to collect 22 redstone from witches. But it has taken us so quickly to get 22 redstone, meaning that we might be able to make an automatic farm very soon. So, like we see, it is actually very efficient to have uh, such an efficient grinder, but at the same time, it can sometimes be very problematic. Now, let's hope that we can get some armor from him. Now, surprisingly, we have not get we have not yet gotten any armor from any mobs yet from this grinder, although we have gotten, at, I think, at least four or five chickens, so that's quite a bit. But anyway... I hope this episode was interesting. Thank you for watching. Now, what I'm going to do is off camera, I'm going to probably make a semi-automatic um, carrot potato wheat farm where I'm going to have dispensers placed somewhere around right here. I'm going to extend the island in this direction. I'm going to have some dispensers placed somewhere around here because... Um, oh, let's just go and collect some of this. Uh, let's see if we can possibly uh, breed them once more. Wow, we're having a lot of chicken. I'm not worried if... Now, if this enclosure com continues to work as it does right now, we're not going to have any issues with losing chicken in the future. Oh, wow, there's one that didn't get to breed. Well, sorry, man, there's not enough mates left. Anyway, uh, so like I said, I'm going to place... I'm going to extend the island right over here, and I'm going to create a semi-automatic farm, which is going to have dispensers all filled with bones, which will be... Which will be right next to uh, some um, dirt, and then I'm going. To, it's going to have a redstone clock, which going to, which is going to clock them, and it's going to keep dispensing the bone meal very quickly onto the plants, and then I'm just going to farm them. I have the same design in all of my skyblock worlds, and also in my vanilla super flat survival world. So, and of course, this is no exception. I'm going to have this same construction as well and after I do that I'm not going to have to uh, use this very very bulky and somewhat inefficient farm right over here I'm not really a big fan of conventional farms since Minecraft has so many amazing different builds of um, automated farms which I could possibly have I really don't see the point in having non-automated farms, especially when I can benefit from them so greatly. And although this doesn't really take up that much space, it's kind of inefficient, and you have to wait to get food from it, and it kind of does not really give you that much food, so... Anyway, thank you for watching. This was Minecralix, and uh, yeah, see you all in the next video.